Knicks insider Ian Begley has revealed players who the Knicks are interested in for the backup center position and may have just leaked a specific player who the team does really want to acquire for the backup center position in Clint Capella, and we're going to break it all down. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to Knicks Digest. It's Chris here. We're going to jump into the video because the New York Knicks, as we all know, need a backup center. It's probably their biggest need by now, and by probably, I mean it's certainly the Knicks' biggest need by now. At this point of the NBA offseason, we're about to hit training camp season, and the Knicks still don't really have a proven backup center option. They're rolling with Precious Achua and Jericho Sims right now while Mitchell Robinson finishes recovering from that foot surgery, from the stress fracture. And you look at this team, and you do see, as a contender, their backup center position is pretty weak while looking at a guy like Robinson who's had health issues. So Ian Begley was asked about it and kind of broke it all down. He mentioned that someone specifically who the Knicks are going for at the backup center position is Clint Capella. He knows the Knicks talked to Atlanta in this offseason about a deal involving Capella and also the Houston Rockets, who have trade option in Steven Adams. They are trying to contend, so Ian Begley would be pretty surprised if they moved Adams at all. I kind of feel similarly. Now, I like the idea of Steven Adams because he's the second best offensive rebounder in the league and the best is Mitchell Robinson. So it is a nice little bit of just completely dominate the offensive boards. Adams is a good defender, good teammate, been on winning teams, been on losing teams. Adams kind of gets the vibe of it all. Probably a great teammate to have around just by the energy that we all see from Steven Adams. Everyone seems to like the guy, but seems like that's not a realistic option because the Rockets want to use him, which is fair. Now, Capella, that is an option that I also really like. I think he's similar to Mitchell Robinson. He's a rim running center, good rim protector, really good on the lob, really good at offensive rebounds, phenomenal rebounder in general. But the Atlanta Hawks don't seem too thrilled with the idea of having Clint Capella on this roster for much longer. And the New York Knicks are going to have to figure out a way to either acquire him, and the salaries are really weird there to the point where I think the only way to get Clint Capella is you're going to have to wait for him to get traded to a different team and hope that that team buys him out of their contract. That would probably happen somewhere around the trade deadline in 2025, which is what Ian Begley was talking about when discussing Capella and Steven Adams right there. Because there's a very good chance the Knicks go into this season with this group of centers, with Robinson, with Achua, with Sims, with Ariel Huckporty on a two-way deal, and that's where they stand. That is not going to be where they stand all season, but there's a very good reason to believe the Knicks are not in a rush to trade for a center. They are going to use Julius Randle in some small ball five roles where Randle will play the five, and then you'll also have OG Ananobi out on the court there if it's a really skilled center who you want one of your best defenders to guard in OG. Then you just run small ball. You have Brunson, DiVincenzo, or Hart, and Mikhail Bridges out there, and boom, great lineup would be a very fun thing to watch. But that's probably not their long-term plan, as Tom Thibodeau does, in fact, really like to have a center on the court, and he likes his defense to really revolve around rim protection. He wants that to be the anchor of it all. So looking at the Knicks, Fred Katz mentioned this a while back, that if the Knicks dealt for a center in the offseason, they could use Precious Achua to facilitate the deal, allowing them to acquire salary without sending out someone from the rotation. However, trading away the few draft picks they could have left for a backup center would lock the Knicks into this roster, essentially forgoing opportunities to upgrade during the season. What if they traded the Detroit pick now and then realized that in the season they needed something more than a backup center that they traded for, and now they cannot fix it? I really, really believe the Knicks are not going to make a big move for a center. Not until the deadline. Not until sometime around early 2025. Leon Rose usually likes to make his moves in January or around then. A bit before the trade deadline, like what we saw when the Knicks acquired Reddish, when the Knicks acquired Josh Hart, when the Knicks traded for o OG Ananobi. All of this happened in January or just a little bit before the trade deadline. It was never at the deadline. The only deadline move... On the day of the deadline, that Leon Rose has made is the trade to get Boyan Bogdanovich and Alec Burks on the Knicks. Both of them now gone. Worked at the time. I liked the idea of it. I thought it was a great move. Now, here we are. The Knicks are in a situation where they're going to need a backup center at some point, but there might not be that big of a reason to rush. It depends on how you feel about Precious and Jericho. So... Where it stands now, I think it'd be more likely that the Knicks would go out there and sign some veteran center who they could give basically a minimum contract to. And I'm going to make a whole video on that probably will come out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So make sure you're subscribed, which is a good time just to say, guys, that 
If you're not subscribed already, make sure you are. 28% of our viewers are subscribed. Let's get those numbers up, boys. But separately, looking at the Knicks, there are some issues they have to resolve, and I think Clint Capella resolves a lot of them, and there's been a lot of noise about Capella getting traded in general. Now, as Mark Stein mentioned, the Hawks have been trying to trade Clint Capella for more than a year, but league sources say that the Atlanta big man that is drawing the most interest is newly acquired Larry Nance Jr., Word is that Nance, who came to the Hawks in the recent DeJounte Murray trade, is being chased by multiple teams in need of proven size. Now, the big thing here is, in my thought, or in my brain, is that you look at Larry Nance Jr., and I don't like him at all more than Clint Capella. Not one bit. I think he's just the same or a worse version of Precious Achua. I don't see the point in that, especially for the Knicks. And I made a video about this basically saying the same thing where I didn't see the point in Larry Nance Jr., and I don't think the Knicks are really going to go for Nance. I think other teams will. Hawks could trade him for a few second-round picks probably, and then boom, the Hawks do well because they continue this weird rebuild that they're doing. I, I, no one understands what the Hawks are doing. They're just a weird, weird franchise right now. But they clearly do want to trade Clint Capella. That is something that we know is true. That is not just something that we're saying. If you look here, yeah, according to the, athlet according to the Athletic, Atlanta didn't have much interest in giving Brandon Ingram his next contract or moving either of its top two centers for Brandon Ingram. But if you keep going with this, Clint Capella is a guy who puts up 11 points and 10 and a half rebounds, shoots 57% from the field, but has a negative defensive box plus minus despite a positive value over replacement players. The normal numbers look good and he's still only 30 years old. It's not that he's old. But the Hawks have been known to have been trying to move Clint Capella for more than a year. Capella is not an efficient player. But it doesn't mean that they're just going to give him away for a different contract they don't want to have. The Knicks would have to work very hard to get Capella. And when you look at the money that is allocated to different Knicks players, there's no one who makes similar money to Clint Capella in order to make this trade work. The only way that this trade works is if the Hawks get something that they want for Capella that's probably an expiring contract, and then the team that gets Capella buys him out, and then the Knicks pursue him. I think that is the Knicks' pathway to Clint Capella, and if you can get that done, that's an excellent job done because you literally had to give up nothing to do that. And then you could still use Precious Achua and that Detroit pick for something completely different and make your team even better. So I like that idea, but that's also a perfect world scenario, and that's not lost on me. So someone else to mention at this time is the boy Nick Richards, someone who I'm a huge fan of. And I've talked about Richards a lot. So just going to go over the numbers. 10 points a game, 8 rebounds, 69% from the field. Great backup center. Could score well at the post. I think he has another... I, I think he's got more room to grow. Gets a block per game. I think under the Knicks' tutelage, he would be a phenomenal piece for the team to have. But I've talked about Richards enough that you guys probably all know my stance on him. You can go back and look at all the videos of Nick Richards in the thumbnail if you need. I'm hyping him up in all of them. I think that would be a great move for the Knicks as well. And it's also one you could feasibly get done using Achua because Achua makes $6 million and Nick Richards makes $5 million. So you just make that trade happen. Bing, bam, boom. You have a backup center. Problem solved. Like, I think that's really what you do with that. At the same time, you look at this. Capella's probably a better player. So if you could work out that buyout, you could work out that buyout. That's great. I'm interested in seeing where the Knicks go with this. Let me know where you guys think the Knicks are going with this. So subscribe, like, turn on post notifications. Have a great day, and go Knicks.